Hey, good morning everyone. This is another session on palmistry and I will be discussing about this interesting case study as well. Hope all of you are keeping well and you are able to learn as we are doing the case study series and we will I will continue to post more and more. I'll give you a basic structure of what this uh, you know um, what this particular episode will bring. Uh, right first this is a case study where the person has struggled a lot with respect to the marriage aspect so we will try to understand like where things are seen when it comes to palmistry for marriage and where do we see certain positive or negative signs and what might have contributed right so we will try to learn that that would be the first part of the analysis we will also focus upon what could be the potential remedies purely from a palmistry perspective. Second, we will also cover upon the person has also had a lot of struggles financially. So we will try to also understand that where things and how things look in the hand, right? And what this could mean uh, for us as well. This is a life case study, uh, meaning to say that this is authentic, genuine, and uh, yeah this will help us to learn and understand uh, the lines more cleanly uh, and which will eventually help us to grow and become better uh, at palmistry right so with that thought process i would also want your involvement so just try to connect with uh, me when i'm trying to analyze uh, every aspect you can also bring in your thoughts and, and put it across the comment section. I'll ask certain questions also, which I feel uh, where I might need help uh, as well. So keeping that in mind, I will get started. Now, first and foremost, the person, uh, this person has faced a lot of stress when it comes to marriage related issues or marriage related or relationship related stuff. Uh, for me, the first point that I try to look for answers is over here, right? Uh, that's where you see the marriage line coming in, right? You see a strong marriage line over here. And then what you see is that there is a downward fork that is coming in, right? So it's like a V-shaped symbol that is getting developed. It's almost as if there is a single line like this. And there is a small branch that comes out like this, right? And this can create a sense of frustration or a conflict between you and your partner right so this uh, sort of a forking like uh, line indicates somewhat uh, towards uh, some frustration coming in now another important observation and i'll tell you why that is important as well is that when you extend this it's going downward you can clearly see the bend is sort of line is towards downwards and if you sort of extend this line it goes right into the center of Mars, right? Uh, aggressive Mars, which can indicate Mars is sort of creating some sort of a difference or conflict. When we see into the other uh, offshoot, right? That is uh, over here. This is going somewhere towards Venus. So we can clearly say that there is some conflict or some difficulty that is getting uh, to be there because Mars and Venus is getting into the way right and there are some differences that are getting created right interestingly um, you know the person has very strong mars in his chart mars is placed in the seventh house which makes him a manglik which also indicates that the partner will have a very aggressive and uh, you know dominating thought process we generally don't want mars in the seventh house because see you want home to be a place where things are very comforting you know you come back after your work and you want to feel relaxed but what happens when mars goes into the seventh house it can indicate that your relationship or your energy with the partner can be very competitive can be very confrontational can be very di direct can involve a lot of uh, mars energy aggressive energy which you don't want you will want a more romantic energy around that right so that is the sort of and that is why it is interesting because one of the markings is indicating towards Mars and that's what uh, we can say when you see such marriage or relationship line bending downwards or hinting towards Mars it can indicate that maybe your partner 
or uh, can be a bit dominating that could be uh, one of the understanding that could be there um, uh, and the other aspect of the line is going towards venus uh, which can indicate that you know sort of venus could be an also an issue in in this person's chart venus is debilitated and uh, that is where we can say that there is some confusion getting created so first point of mark is over here uh, feel free to add or you know if you have any other thoughts around this uh, to add more the second is uh, around the venus mount as well you can see the line is exceptionally straight uh, as we discussed see when the line is not curving it is very straight uh, then it always indicates that uh, you know venus is lacking or venus is losing its strength uh, and that's again another area uh, because of which we can clearly say that uh, venus is also under pressure that's where there could be differences or difficulty in marriage so this is another part third part is look into the emotional line you can see so many tiny bits coming out right and especially under the mount of mercury as well there are so many branches coming out so this can again indicate some conflicts or emotional disturbances being there which again causes some issues with respect to marriage so i'll give you the real context the real context is the person has gone through a divorce in his life right and um, yeah so when we look into the heart line when we look into the marriage or relationship line and when you look into the life line as well these three are somewhat hinting that there can be differences or difficulty when it comes to marriage right apart from that uh, if you are able to find any other markings then feel free to uh, you know bring that into light as well but another important marking for example is this strong line which is going downwards from the heart line as well is indicating some strong emotional disturbances see these lines which go towards mars uh, from the heart line these are all indicative of some difficult issues coming up right so these three are the major markings that i could figure out uh, you know from the hand and uh, you know indicate or hint towards some sort of a marriage related issue another important line which i can think of is you can see this rising line going right and it's going somewhere towards the heart line and then you can see how it is cutting a rising line over here right so these lines which go towards the marriage line sometimes and which cuts across a rising line can also hint towards a marriage related issue this typically is happening uh, in the hand at or around the ages of 33 34 so that i need to validate with the person if the divorce did happen around that age but looking at the hand it uh, comes across that timing but yeah uh, do let me know if you are able to get more markings around this but the major learning from this is when venus is under pressure when the you are seeing the line to be very straight or going towards ketu or going towards moon or it's not having that natural curve that can maybe bring about certain difficulties the marriage line itself having a sort of a split uh, one of the branch or uh, and and it is hinting and directing towards mars uh, another branch going towards venus this can also indicate towards some conflict or difficult in pattern i'm just summarizing things for you and then uh, under the emotional line as well when you see too many branches going downwards when you see a line traveling across and covering and cutting towards and going towards the marriage line can also hint towards the time and age of divorce now the energies which are disbalanced we were able to map it through the marriage line uh, so it was mars and venus so that is how we can go about uh, and that is what is indicating in the chart now second important aspect which i wanted to discuss about is financial issues that the person faced heavily from 42 to 45 it's almost as if the person is only surviving on his savings he doesn't have an active job and it is surprising right the person has from 42 to 45 is this zone you can see how the lines are continuing but the person has no job technically when the lines are present the general thought process is that there is direction and the person should have a job generally but the truth is truth right the truth is even when the lines are there sometimes uh, 
your direction so the person is definitely having this direction the person is working uh, and the person is able to also um, you know give a lot of job interviews get attracted uh, is also working in a parallel business also and gaining some money out of it but it's very minimal but you see uh, the lines are very solid which means the presence of line does not guarantee money they guarantee direction the person has not lost his focus the person has not lost his direction the person is continuing to persevere and uh, you know overall i think the person is moving in the right direction now what's happening is the lines are transitioning if you see the lines were moving towards jupiter and saturn and suddenly they are flicking away towards saturn so a change in pattern is happening of the financial lines and this change for a person to adapt there can be difficult situations that can be thrown so whenever this transition happens always ask what's going on when the transition phase is happening so you can clearly see the line was you know moving towards jupiter and uh, saturn and then suddenly after the heart line is going in a straight way right so for sure between 42 to 45 a lot of transformations might have happened and because of which the person lost the job and now is becoming more saturnian meaning to say this loss of job can make the person less egoistic more responsibility driven more uh, you know stable right so somewhere harsher situations actually teaches you something much more wiser but anyway when you go through it it feels like very difficult right so that's what the case is so when such transitions can happen these can attract situations where you can lose job or where there can be certain difficulty another thing is you can clearly see how uh, the branches from the heart line right are also cutting it's rightly cutting at around the ages of 42 43 that's where the person lost the job is currently around 44 and is uh, my hint is he will get the job and right from 42 to 44 there is a sort of a square like formation which means the person will be protected somehow the financials are still there somehow the person is able to survive so see how the protection of the square is also coming into angle and then uh, you know rightly after 44 uh, or so uh, the person will be able to also heal uh, right so that is what you can see over here uh, right uh, the transition happening in the square so that is how you have to see now why such what is what else is happening around 40 to 45 if you uh, you know look carefully uh, even around the heart line there is a lot of pressure around 42 to 45 even around the mount of venus and you know venus which also represents money there are some pressures there are lines like this falling down which indicates loss of energy so net net that is where when everywhere there is some noise that is coming out that is where such difficult situation has come up so hopefully you have understood how to spot out difficulties in relationship we saw it from the marriage line we saw it with respect to the life line we saw it with respect to how the marriage line split, splitting was and how it was indicating we saw it how the random line one of them was moving towards the marriage line which also indicated some troubles in marriage we also saw how the heart line down you know flicks were also showing uh, job line indicated a transformation which can at times lead to loss of uh, financial jobs sometimes the horizontal bars which cut across can indicate a temporary loss of job or a difficult situation in job as well so take these horizontal bars carefully but as far as the pattern is continuing the person is likely to get back the job as well so that is the truth in a lot of cases you will find these lines to be very strongly there but the person might not be actively earning but overall financial situations would be good meaning to say the partner or the other uh, things naturally will be helping the person so that's why we are able to understand more about the job line we'll continue with live analysis more so that you are able to relate and understand things more closely hopefully you got few more understanding from this video i'm shwetan into palmistry do check my channel for more do reach out to me for a reading as well uh, thank you take care have a brilliant day bye bye